Hi everyone, um, welcome to today's video. Today is not your typical video, I guess. I am in Barranquilla, Colombia, and um, I'm going to have surgery tomorrow. Um, a lot of you have seen my recent Snapchats and have been asking why I'm in Colombia, first of all, and what I'm getting done. And, you know, I've been bombarded with messages of, you know, people really showing their concern and it really does mean a lot to me because I originally wasn't going to film this, you know, I was just going to, I guess, post the video once, you know, I healed and stuff, but um, I wanted to do this quick follow-up with you guys because I owe it to you guys and, you know, um, it really made me feel good, to be honest, that people care enough to the point that they would really you know, go out of their way to, you know, message me and like, it, I, I read everything and it really does mean a lot to me. Basically, I'm here and if you've noticed, I've also been talking a little bit differently. I want to make this video really short. I don't really want to talk for too long and um, this is the last time you're going to hear me talk for a very long time and um, this is, I guess, my farewell video. You know, well, not farewell, but you know, a see you later video and um, this is, this is my real voice, guys. Um, this is how I really sound, and I learned that, um, my voice isn't my real voice. Why? Because I strain myself. I've always had this coughing problem, which I've told you guys about. Um, I cough 24-7 all the time. Like, every, every, every minute I cough, I'm always coughing. And, you know, um, that's always been a constant problem of mine. And, um, I've always wondered why, and now that I've talked to doctors and I've actually seen specialists about this, we realize that my coughing problem is because I strain my voice 24-7. And I just don't strain my voice a little bit. I strain my voice a lot. Um, I'm constantly faking my voice. I'm constantly faking my voice um, to sound like that 24-7. And um, I didn't really notice it because that's just how it came out of me. But it was a mental thing. And... Um, I have, I stutter a lot, um, I basically, like, I'm going through puberty 24-7, like, I, my voice is always breaking, and, you know, um, I'm always coughing because my throat is so strained, it's so strained to the point that I need to have surgery for it, and that's why I'm here. I'm going to have vocal feminization surgery, which basically entails, um, the doctors are going to tighten my vocal cords to hopefully make my voice permanently sound like a female's voice and um basically I'm admitting that my voice you know doesn't sound like a female's and um you know it's kind of hard to admit and you know I'm I'm very tired right now you know um it's literally like it's 1am um I have surgery at 6 and um I'm tired I'm nervous depressed I, mean, I I don't know this is really the first time I've just talked on camera and just really talked you know I when I talk I have to think about what I say every fucking time and you know it's about time I just be myself it's really hard to um, be confident when everyone just reminds me of how bad my voice is and it's really hard to keep making videos when everyone just reminds me of how manly I sound and how um, you know, it's just, um, it makes me not want to talk, and that's a problem when I talk on camera. It's sad because, like, right now I'm sitting here and I have to really be honest with people, and I have to be honest with myself, and it's kind of hard to, um, you know, we all have a filter on ourselves, and, and you know, my filter is my voice, and aside from that, it's hard to legit, like, legitimately be honest on camera, and fucking tell the truth, and, you know, um, being as confident as I am and being as a role model as I want to be, it's it's hard to literally look straight at the camera and admit that you're unhappy with yourself and you're unhappy with how you sound and it's hard to admit fucking five years into my transition that, you know, I'm depressed and um, I am like ashamed and like I just want to get this over with you know and it's hard to admit that I'm weak sometimes and um it's like I just 
I just want to be strong like I don't know like why it's so hard and why I have to go through all these things and I don't know why I have to like do all these fucking like surgeries just to be myself imagine reading fucking thousands of comments about my fucking voice I already being self-conscious imagine reading thousands thousands of freaking comments about my voice like what does that do to you mentally you know and I'm like, I'm not doing this to please people. I'm not doing this to please anyone but myself. I'm doing this for myself. You know, my boyfriend already loves me. He doesn't He doesn't think I need it. My family supports me. This, this is for me. This is because I'm not happy. This is because I want to go on camera and actually just talk like I'm doing right now. But I want to sound like a fucking girl. My surgery is at 6 a.m. Like I said, it's 1.54. I haven't been able to sleep because I've been so, like, anxious, nervous. I don't know what the fuck I got myself into. I don't know what I'm doing. I just really just... I'm just hoping that after this I can feel confident and I hope you guys can see that. I have good intentions and I don't want to be made fun of anymore for something I can't help. I can't speak. I can't cough. Little and whisper. Any of that fucks up my surgery. Any of that. Like, I I am fu I like I am fucking nervous. Like I don't know if I can do this. Like who the fuck? Like I've never in my life gone a day without. I've never even gone an hour without speaking. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I cannot express to you guys how self-conscious this makes me. And I cannot I, I, I can express how dysphoric this makes me and how much of a fucking obstacle this has been towards my life. You know guys, I transitioned over five years ago and I'm honestly ashamed to just like fucking be honest and just say that I'm self-conscious and be honest and say that like I'm not happy with myself. And even now like I've just like, I put my, I put this front out to be like a role model for people and it sucks because I want to tell you guys to be happy and to be yourselves but I can't because I'm not doing it. I, I want people not to be self-conscious and I want you guys to not have to do things because people make fun of you. I'm here in a different country, I'm gonna have this surgery and I'm just like, I'm just so scared and I'm so nervous. <sighs> I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just so like tired and like I just, I don't want people to think I'm weak and I don't want people to think that I'm doing this because like I care about what people, like, I just, I just want to feel normal and I just want to feel whole and I just want to feel entirely like myself and sometimes like I feel when I when I'm finally happy and I feel good I get reminded that I'm not and sometimes like this is gonna be the last video that you guys are gonna hear my voice and I'm talking like this because I just want any any girl out there that's like me i'm talking to you um if you are self-conscious and if you feel like you can't be yourself because of your voice i want you to know that i'm here for you i want you to know that this video is for you and that don't let people make fun of your voice i'm not gonna let anyone stop me i'm not gonna let any comments stop me and i'm not gonna let anyone stop me from being happy anyway guys thank you so much for supporting me I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my channel and who actually cares enough. It really is hard sometimes and like I'm honestly so scared right now. I was put on this earth to help women like me and to help educate people about women like me and this is one of the things that I personally have to go through and um, I hope I can help someone out there. <laughs> thank you guys. I love you. When the sunlight strikes red. No me falte la voz. Tú, ya tú lo haces inconscientemente. ¿Tú lo dices? Inconscientemente. Lo hice. Okay. Uh, uh. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. Guys, I can actually go. Platero, or platero. 
<laughs> so basically, he is telling me that um, I subconsciously faked my voice without even knowing it. And it's true. Um, and that's why I have that coughing problem because I strain myself so much. And um, I'm trying to talk to you guys right now, like natural, as natural as I can think. I even have to like force myself to talk naturally because I'm just so used to um, talking like this. And like, you know, um, <clears throat> see, even now, like I have to like adjust myself. I don't know why, like it's just, I'm not even trying to talk fake, it just happens. So this is just like a realization to me that like, it's even hard just to talk normal because my mind doesn't let me. It's honestly kind of like dysphoric just even talking like this on a camera because I'm scared. Like it's just like paranoia. But um, yeah, so let's get started. Did you tell your father that I was going to call him? No, I called my dad. And yes, he sent me a message to my dad. So the male frequency is 100 or 150. Um, doctor's at 115. I'm at 130. Um, yeah. Female frequency is 180 to 300. We're gonna try to get me from 130 to this area right here. Nada, ni ruidos con la garganta, ni sonidos, ni afirmaciones, nada. Absoluto silencio, ¿ok? said it's going to sound bad. You don't have to worry about it. Like you 
you shouldn't be like disappointed or anything. Like you said it's gonna sound bad. Babe, come on. Just talk. Just talk. Did you forget how to talk? Just speak. Technically, you can talk right now. Just saying. Since you reckon we have a talk? Yeah, but I didn't think it would sound like I can't talk. He said you would talk. This is fucking weird. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> he said it was gonna sound like that. I, I can't, like, I'm talking as loud as I possibly can. Well, don't and voice it. Sounds like a whisper. Yeah. Platero es pequeño, peludo, suave, tan blando que se diría que es todo algodón. Platero es pequeño, peludo, suave, tan blando que se diría que es todo algodón. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is as much as I can talk. Um, I'm trying to talk normally. This is as deep as I can talk. Um, yeah, I can't really control this. This is just what comes out naturally. Hey everyone, so this is an update. Um, I'm so frustrated. It's been over a month, and I'm just so over this. This is basically the first day that I'm talking. And, um, yeah, this is my voice so far. I feel like I sound horrible today. I sound like I'm sick, and I sound like I'm really trying hard to, like, make my voice higher, I feel. Hi, yeah, can I have a number one, please? A number two, please? A number three, please? It's fucking weird. Right now, the voice, my voice sounds really, really high. Kind of like a dog toy that you, like, squeeze. And then, um, the more I talk, the less, like, the more of a whisper... Um, only comes out because I guess like my voice runs out like I'm on like a battery or something. It sounds so high pitched, like, but it also. Like you what? No, this is like I sound like a fucking Mickey Mouse. Oh. And then, oh. And, oh. But but it also sounds sick, like I'm sick, you know. Well, it sounds. So like... it's like a mixture of like too high and a mixture of like too sick. Well, hopefully this drops and. Um, I just hard. want to meet, like, I want, like, a middle, you know? I just, I'm hoping that, like, this isn't it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be easier to make my voice deeper than to make it higher. So if it's too high, at least I can make it deeper, you know? Yeah, I agree. I think it's a mental thing, because I'm like, wait, am I forcing it to sound this high? And I'm, I'm trying to make it low, like, normal, and I can't. Like, you know how before I could, like, drop it to, like, uh-huh. 
even lower than normal. Like, I can't, like, uh, I'm so frustrated. Like, uh, it's been six weeks and I'm still recovering. It's taking so much effort for me just to talk right now. Hola, doctor. Como que cuando hablo, se me van la voz. Um, sonaba mucho mejor en la mañana. Y ahora que es más noche, se me fue la voz, no sé. So I just finished my therapy for today. I think I'm gonna go crazy. So November 9th, this is my voice. November 9th. November 9th. November 9th. No. November 9th. I'm almost trying to talk deep, but I can't. Oh my god, that's when I try to talk really high. You know how I told you guys I can't make it lower or high or anything, but I can do that. It's weird. I can do that. It's weird. I can do that. I can do that. Isn't this weird? The fuck? So, I'm talking. See, like, I can't even start conversations because my voice cracks. But I'm talking a lot more now. Um... Still very, it's very frustrating. Um, I'm starting to think right now, like every single like update I've done, I'm wearing no fucking makeup, I look a fucking mess. So today, um, well, today my voice sounds very hoarse. Platero es pequeño, peludo, suave. I guess I keep saying the same exact stuff every single time. That I'm frustrated and I just want to speak normally again. This week marks my two months, eight weeks. This is my voice for today. Um, yeah. You can tell it's horrible. Hi everyone, I just woke up. This is my morning voice. Um, yeah, here's my myth. When the sunlight strikes, raindrops in the air, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow is a division of white light into many people. There are bees. <laughs> no, I'm so over this fucking. When the sunlight strikes, raindrops in the air, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. I'm kind of getting over making videos because, I mean, it's very evident that I lost my voice. There's nothing I can do anymore besides just wait. When the sunlight strikes, raindrops in the air. Platero es pequeño, peludo, suave. Tamblando. Latero es pequeño, peludo, suave. Tamblando que se daría que es todo algodón. Hi everyone. I dare so, you to flip that oh, guy. I am gonna flip him off. That's what I'm fucking doing. Not that tall guy. No, no, boy. <laughs> it's December 4th. Edgar's makeup is here. I sound less like sick wise and I'm trying to sound more normal. But my voice is just, I mean, I don't know, it's just a really, it's a struggle. <laughs> what do you think? I think you're gonna sound like Siri. When the sunlight strikes, rain drops in the air, they add to prism and form a rainbow. Hi everyone, so there's my voice for today. I'm not going to see the platero or the rainbow passage because he fucking hates it. So It's just a little repetitive, you have to admit. Hi everyone, so there's my voice for today. Um, yeah, it's getting better. I can actually see a difference. I can actually hear a difference, but uh, yeah, it's getting louder. It sounds louder, right? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, people could hear me a little bit more. Hi everyone, so this is my voice. Um, after partying all night, basically the entire like past two weeks, I've started drinking and I've just started, you know, not really caring anymore because my voice has gotten better and but honestly, I'm just so tired of like holding back and not having fun and stuff. I went out last night and um, I guess it's my hangover voice. But yeah, do I sound like a dude? Hey guys, so I just woke up and I want to show you guys how different my voice sounds in the morning than it does in daytime. But uh, yeah, just want to show you guys the difference and yeah, bye. Hi everyone, so I know I haven't done any updates in a while, 
It's because I guess I've sort of been sick, but it's weird because I have been sick, but my voice feels and sounds a little better. It's actually my three month mark already. Still, no one can hear me. You start to go crazy when you can't even scream. I know it sounds crazy, but it really is. Like, it fucks with you sometimes. It's so long on Snapchat. It's not a Snapchat, it's an update. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? So I had a pretty eventful day. To be honest, I had a really bad day and um, I kind of was thinking to myself a lot. I've been meaning to film this for so long and um, I guess I keep like putting myself off from filming it because I'm not ready for the judgment and I'm not ready to, I guess, like, to, I guess, put this out there because I don't know, I guess I'm scared, but I, I shouldn't be scared. Um. A lot of shitty stuff happened today. Um, I'm okay, but um, I think I I just need I it it really just prepared me because um, it's making me really just realize that I need to stop worrying what people are gonna think about me because at the end of the day I didn't care before and I shouldn't care now post surgery. So. Um, <sighs> I'm like already out of breath. It's just, it's very stressful because I really don't know what the hell I'm I'm doing right now. I don't want to be judged because I don't know if you guys are gonna like my new voice and I don't know if people are gonna hate my new voice. I want to make people happy and um, that's kind of like my main thing is I want to make you guys happy. I want I want myself to be happy but I want to make my, my followers and the people that support me happy and um, I felt that I wasn't doing that. You know, um, it's been a little over four months since I posted a video on YouTube, and um, that sucks, you know, that, that really sucks, and it really hurts me because, it hurts me because I miss it, like I genuinely love making videos, and I, I really don't do videos just to get paid, informing people, and educating people, and being, being like a, a role model, and in a, in a way an adv advocate for people is, is a really big big deal for me i i always keep saying like oh my god i need to do my makeup and i need to put on the lights get my camera out and really make this a big production and make my comeback huge and you know i can't let people down and it needs to be on a day that my voice sounds perfect and keep in mind my voice changes every single day i have my good days i have my bad days and um i have days where you can't hear me at all and i have days where you could hear me very well so, um, it's really hard to plan it. I just got home, and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck the camera. Fuck all of those things. Let me get my phone out and just fucking just film. I wanted to, um, I guess, ask people questions. That way I can cover everything. And, um, yeah, basically just get everything out in that one video. So, um, yeah. Every single question I can think of, I wrote it down. And, um, I'm going to answer that. So, so yeah. Um, I'm just gonna try to skim through this before my voice goes away because that it's definitely a possibility and I don't want to have to do this twice. Okay, so cost of the surgery. Um, the cost is lowest you could find, I think, 5000 and the highest the surgery will cost is 10000 If you are really serious about getting the surgery done and you have, like, like the will to get it done, I'm pretty sure you'll find the exact price. Every doctor has a different price and I can't really say like the actual price because it can always be different. By the way, I'm very much out of breath because I'm like literally like trying to like talk as fast as I can, but my voice can't keep up. So um, I apologize, but you know, I guess this is good so you guys can see like what I'm going through and what I've been going through. So um, yeah. I didn't hear my voice until two weeks. So I went two full weeks without talking. Absolutely not a single word, not a whisper, not a cough, not a smile, not a laugh. I couldn't even fucking sneeze, let alone like fucking burp, you know? Like I, I didn't use my voice for two exact weeks. I wasn't able to talk actually. Like even though I didn't use my voice for two weeks, after the two week mark, I, I spoke for like maybe a minute a day. So um, I wasn't really able to talk for one month just so you guys know after the first month that i really wasn't able to talk the second month i only heard my voice for five minutes a day the first month was basically hell 
And the second month was basically all. And I took so long to make this video because I wasn't informed enough about my own situation to, I guess, educate people on it. I feel like when you're going to make a video and educate other people on a subject, you have to be like, you have to be a good teacher. I couldn't really teach anyone because I knew nothing about my own surgery. So, um, yeah, I, I, that's another reason as to why I kept delaying this depression. Um, I'm not going to lie, the post-surgery depression has, has ruined my life in a way. Today is February 11th. I had my surgery on September 23rd and um, I have been extremely, extremely depressed ever since then. And um, that says enough. So um, basically, I mean you guys can hear me, this is my voice, um, this is not my final voice. So what they told me was it takes three to six months to basically be able to talk normally and six to six months to a whole year to hear your final voice. Doctor saying I'm barely 40% healed. Um, I kind of wanted to wait till I was fully healed but I'm not going to fucking wait a whole year to make a video. So um, that's not going to happen. But um, I also want you guys to know that this is not my final voice. Some people heal very quickly, like my friend Ella Giselle, who apparently was able to talk f fully, like after two months. But there's also cases like me that it's been four and a half months and I still can't really talk. On the first month, nothing would really come out, even if I tried. So nowadays I could speak, I could speak very clearly, um, but I have to be in a closed room. If we're anywhere else <laughs> that's not a closed room, then Good luck. Basically, I have really bad volume, and, um, yeah, like, okay, I've gone to events, like, makeup events and stuff, and I tell people I lose my voice, because they obviously can't hear me, because literally, we're at a party, there's music, and I'm just like this, you know, and people are just, like, trying to melt it out, and I'm just like, oh, I lost my voice, and they're like, oh, okay, oh, it's a six flags, you know, I was screaming, blah, 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 I lost my voice. Like, oh, okay, you know, because I'm, I'm not going to fucking tell someone the entire story, especially people I don't know. And um, because eventually, like, you know, this is like at three months or two months when I'm even at one month, you know, when I'm like hoping I'll heal. And um, it's really funny because I would see the same people over and over again at different events. It'd be the same story, like, oh, my voice is gone. Normally when someone's voice is gone, it comes back. But for me, it didn't. <laughs> And eventually, I had to basically, like, if I kept seeing people over and over again, I had to tell them the truth, you know? But yeah, it's it's very, very depressing um, going out and no one being able to hear you. I don't know how to explain it when I can't do things that normal people can do. I really could sit here for two hours and just talk to you about the things I can't do. Food. Okay, so the food thing. I couldn't eat anything I liked, basically. And I'm basically speaking, like, the first month of surgery. Month and a half or two months, because honestly, after, like, two and a half three months I stopped giving a shit and I really broke all these rules because I was basically over it I cannot do my deep voice anymore I can't I mean you guys probably saw that in, the, in like in the video but I can't do that anymore I, I have no flexibility with my voice so if I want to make it deep like hello this is as deep as I can go hello 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 like I'm, I'm trying to make it deep but I can't by the way like I said I'm, I'm reading like bullet points pain there was no pain involved only in the beginning right after my surgery waking up oh my god it was probably the worst feeling i've ever felt in my entire life you wake up you're in a different fucking country none of the fucking nurses know english you can't fucking speak if you speak you fuck it up if you cough you fuck it up if you do anything you fuck it up okay so imagine all this in your head i remember like at one point i was like screaming because i was like oh my god i guess i started crying and screaming and i was i was having a fucking panic attack while i couldn't fucking speak for those of you who don't know i was actually planning to do this video on january 1st i got very very sick so basically the one thing you can't do is get sick getting sick is horrible because the whole point of this is you can't cough we go through so many um preventions you know so you don't cough you can basically ruin your surgery because if you cough loud enough you'll break whatever the fuck they did i was sick for like at least like three weeks guys the thing is i didn't get better it was probably the worst thing that could happen while recovering and me being sick was bittersweet because i just stopped caring i stopped being so like i stopped being so paranoid about the consequences of me doing things and my voice reverting back because I I noticed that even though I was coughing, even though I did all the worst things that I could have done, I realized that after after I like 
my voice didn't go back to my, my old voice. So that basically was, um, was the world telling me, you are healed, there's no way. Because like I said, I was coughing to the point that like even I was gagged. But I, there's no way my voice will go back to normal. And I probably would have lived with the paranoia the entire time until I got sick. I don't think I even have weight healed. I sound like I've been screaming all night. I sound like a sick girl. It's not really what I expected, but I'd rather sound like a sick girl than a boy. I know I'm not healed yet because my voice volume still isn't there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous. It's never gonna come back. There's always surgery again, but only time will tell. Sometimes I do wish I could just go back and not do the surgery. Whenever I'm in a loud place or in a situation where people go, what? What? I want nothing more than to have my old voice back. Why? Because a voice is better than no voice. On the other hand, I go back to my old videos and hear my old voice and think, oh my god, how did anyone ever let me leave the house sounding like that? Regardless, um, my voice is going to get better. It can't get any worse. The only thing that can happen is it is it getting better. So hopefully in a few months, I'll be saying that I love it and that I'm very happy and that my volume is back. I feel like I sound, well, from what I've been getting, that I sound like Poppy. Hi, I'm Poppy. Well, overall, I knew this wouldn't be perfect. This isn't my final result, but judging as this, if it were my final result, I could live with this. I definitely could live with this as long as my volume was back. If my volume was back, I would be a very happy girl right now. That's not the case right now, as of today, so I don't know what to say. I would honestly only recommend this to those who really desperately need it. I felt like I desperately did. It was my biggest insecurity and probably still is. One of the reasons I wouldn't recommend it is because of the whole waiting process. Because it's so um, unpredictable. You don't know how long it's going to be. You can't really go to school while you're doing it. You can't really work. Don't know enough about the surgery. I am basically a guinea pig. I think this can help a lot of people. And I've never seen a video like this on YouTube. This can really change the game for trans women. I'm giving up a lot to receive other stuff. I'm happy I did it. I would absolutely recommend it to you if you're willing to take the risk. Um, someone asked, did the surgery make me more confident? In places that aren't loud, hell yes. But in places that are loud, it made my insecurity worse. So yeah, it makes me confident when I'm by myself in my room. But when I'm not, without like a club or like an event, it makes me more self-conscious because people can't hear me basically. Who I was going through my mind during the process. If I'm honest, I was shitting myself the entire time. I probably still am. It's really hard and you just jump to worse conclusions because you have no one to compare yourself to or ask for advice because no one has done this before. This is what the price you pay would be in the guinea pig. I mean, right now I'm still shitting myself, if I'm honest. I don't know if my voice will fully be back. I don't know anything, you know, and I don't know if my volume will ever come back, you know? So it's, it's fucking frustrating. Apparently I'm leaving every day as it goes and I'm just hoping for the best, you know? Me talking about the surgery so openly, I hope... This video helps you in some way. It's really helping me because today, like I said, was a really bad day for me. And um, this is helping me cope. It feels so damn good to be back on YouTube and to feel like I'm talking to someone again because this is like, this is what I live for, dude. It feels good to talk to you guys and it feels good to be back because she is back. Would greatly appreciate um, a comment, a like. Um, a DM, an email, message me, anything. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, let me know. I'm here for you. Just thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so happy to be back and I'm so grateful to have you guys in my life and I hope this was all worth the wait. I really do. I am happy. And, um, I hope you guys are too.